I was definitely always plus size and I noticed that from the time I was young. All my friends around me were always smaller and that kind of stuff and there were times that you know you really struggle with the like self-confidence and finding who you are especially when you're young but I feel like when you're young you don't really notice it it's when you start to grow up. So I would say like around those ages you know like 11 starting to go through puberty and going into like 11 plus age going into first form all that kind of stuff you then start to become like conscious my skirt is a lot bigger than this girl my shirt size is this you know you go to swim in and you're like in a swimsuit and you're like well, these girls look very different to how I look um so I would say I definitely struggled with self-confidence and confidence on a whole through that whole period and then I don't remember the day that it hit me or that things changed and I was like well this is who I am you know like I'm not trying to change it like everyone around me is here for me and what I stand for so like this this is me and you don't realize that moment that you switch and you become that confident person you know so I would say I started to like exercise and I I've always had like an interest in physical education and sport so I had the opportunity to pick that up as a subject at CXC. And then, you know, you get to learn because a lot of the girls in my class were skinny, skinny, skinny. <laughs> Not saying that's a bad thing, but like they were all very skinny and I'm like this plus size girl, but I'm, I've always been active, that kind of thing. So I think when I realized that, damn, I could run more than these girls and they're not, they're not even half my size. Like I'm so much more fit, like I do train for swimming on a morning like I can like I kick ass in sports kind of thing I used to ride horses like I was a very active person growing up um so I think when I started to realize that and then started really looking at like what I was eating and I would say like the one diet slash lifestyle change that I tried that I enjoyed and like I was like well this is a thing was the whole 30 don't know if you've ever heard of it so basically I ate potatoes every day like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, any form I wanted. You just had to stay away from processed sugar and like packaged things so you can cook whatever you want. And like I lost weight during it, but what happened to me is like I got to figure out what my body reacted to more and that kind of thing. So I think getting to know my body from like a nutritional point of view also helped me with like that confidence and knowing like who I fully am. I would say my first modeling situation would have been a band launch this year actually for Blue Box Cart. So they approached me and Blue Box Cart is a very, was a band I would say that's just like, yeah, we all know the faces who are going to be on that model chart this year. Um, so when they approached me I was like, well this is new. <laughs> so I went and I've known most of the people that I would have worked with there for quite a while, but I didn't really, like, know who they were. Um, that first experience was nerve-wracking. Like, after the studio shoot, I bawled. I cried, and I was like, cannot do this. Like, I don't know. Whoa, what's going on? Like, this is very new. But then after I got, like, same day, I got very comfortable, and I was like, let me walk around in this costume and feel it, you know? And then when it got to the video shoot, I was like, yeah, I'm ready film me and all my awesomeness because I'm ready for this and then from that um, I was actually approached by Hearts Carnival for Trinidad and I flew across to Trinidad in July for their band launch and I got there and I was like what am I doing here you know like and in Trinidad the plus size movement I would say is not as far advanced as us here so I was literally one of two plus size models out of 70 models that they had on the stage. So when you walk out on a stage in front of an audience of 5,000 and you hear the screams and you're like, whoa, that feeling is, you can't really explain it, you know? So that's like my modeling-ish experience so far. Just kind of like going with it wherever it takes me. Um, a philosophy that I live by currently is it's more of like a quote kind of thing I run like a lot on quotes I never get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life um, that quote reminds me every day to take some time for me hi my name's Lee and you can catch my full feature in this Sunday's Easy Magazine